Thank you so much for tuning in. Mr. Mitsubishi here. This gas Outlander just ran out of gas completely. So in this video, we'll show you what to do, how to put some gas in it with the jerry can. There's this plastic tube you need to find. It's located in the back of the vehicle. We'll cover all that right now. Let's check out how it looks if the vehicle runs out of gas and then let's get going and get this Outlander working again. So this is what happened. The vehicle has only six kilometers. It's uh, brand new and it got delivered here to us. And then it has very low uh, amount of uh, fuel in the, uh, in the fuel tank to begin with from the factory. It's uh, part of the, it's cost savings from factory, part of the safety because they don't want to haul these vehicles around with full tanks of gas. But uh, here it is. Um, I was warming it up and it ran out of gas and it doesn't start. Uh, and now I need to fill up uh, the vehicle and uh, here are the steps to take okay and let's find this plastic tube so what you want to do is if your seats are folded up you want to fold them down just for easier access and then you have in trunk area you have this part right here uh, and you have this uh, plastic uh, foam tray right here so you want to uh, lift that up to put it away now then right here we can see already we have this tire sealant here we have some uh, uh, you know wrenches and whatnot put in here and that tube is right where the sealant is so to access that we need to uh, pull this part up a little bit and then we have these two straps right here we pull both straps at the same time and then we just lift the whole thing up so it's kind of hard to do it with one hand i'll release both straps and we'll check it out uh, both uh, uh we'll check it out once we lift it up so i released both straps and now we can lift it up like this so you just pull them and that's releasing them and right here we have this uh, plastic funnel part or the plastic tube whatever we know want to call them and now we take this and we can insert it right here and once it's in we can pour the gasoline in so now that we set for that let's just go to the gas station put some gas in the jerry can and off we go and here we go i just put some 20 dollars in uh, this jerry can didn't get me too much with these fuel prices but it is what it is so now it's time to go back to find our uh, red outlander right there and we'll gas it up and time to get uh, get it going now. So uh, we have these, uh, most jerry cans have these plastic tubes that, uh, you know, give you this extension so it's easier to uh, uh, fill it in the fuel tank. Otherwise, you kind of have to uh, uh, be very, very creative. And now we just pour the gasoline nicely. We can see how nicely it pours in and uh, that capless uh, technology and this filler really helps us to achieve the goal. And that's it. This is how we're uh, getting it done. So remember, if you run out of gas, uh, this is what uh, roadside assistance is for. But uh, if you can do it on your own or you're not uh, anywhere near the areas where the roadside assistance could cover, this is how you can uh, gas up your Outlander by using this uh, plastic tube or plastic uh, filler, whatever we can call them. And after this is done, we'll check out uh, if uh, fuel needle moved a little bit and if this Outlander starts again. One quick tip, after you're done with refueling, make sure you clean, you wash this plastic tube before you put it back in. Otherwise, you might pick up some of the gasoline smell in a vehicle. So wash it, clean it, then put it back and you're good to go. The tube's back in, the trunk is closed, let's start the Outlander and see if our efforts gave us anything at all. Okay, so we start the vehicle. There you go. As you mentioned, maybe you noticed it started a little bit longer. That's because I had to pick up the gas that we had. And yes, we are uh, well, not well over, a bit over the uh, red line and uh, shows the range now, 129 kilometers. We're good to go. So there we go. We just rescued the uh, Outlander from uh, not working to working. And this is how it's done. So thank you so much for checking out this video. Hope you liked it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. So thanks again and uh, see you next time around.